Hi guys, I just want to show that this laptop iDeaPad 5 Pro with uh, AMD 5600H 5, processor is decent laptop. I play around 40 minutes for now and there is not so much heating on the surface. As you can see the GPU temperature is around 50 and CPU is around 80. Um, I can guarantee that this model with AMD 5600H processor is a little bit cooler than the other processors like Intel will hit more the more newer and stronger AMD processor will hit more dedicated graphic will hit more I choose this conf this configuration because it seems seemed most perfect it's have decent components and adequate uh, cooling for them so this is Battlefield 5 on 1080 piece that this resolution is uh, 1900 over 1600 it's 60 inch monitor with uh, 120 hertz refresh rate I didn't want to record screen I want to record like this with cell phone this is how we have played like kids one would play the game and others would watch <laughs> most of the time um, it has FPS around 40, 30 and I think it will drop around 25, 30 32 in the game when I start playing. I think FPS of 25 is pretty decent for any casual gamer. I, bu I bought this uh, PC for my office, for the work, for my study. And the gaming is just some casual sport I do now and then. If you want to play the games like it's your main, main purpose then this laptop just is not for you you want something uh, that this gamer made this laptop is great for the casual gamers it's pretty smooth on 23 and 25 fps you can play you can move and aim without problem keep in mind i play on very old mouse so my aiming is a little bit off and I didn't play in a while this is pretty intense game for me here I usually play just strategies and easier games I feel pretty confident with this refresh rate really don't limit my abilities <laughs> I really I suck in the, even with the higher refresh rates but I guess it happens when you don't play for five years you play with just some fell out and like Rome Total War spend most of the time learning stuff and doing some light coding Okay, as you can see, the temperature is still decent, the FPS is decent. Earlier I played some Fallout 4, the FPS was on uh, 40, and it kept uh, that level on steady. I installed the uh, AMD Adrenaline and uh, I enabled the uh, dynamic resolution and blur and put uh, the FPS to lock on alright turn it that off so it's just dynamic resolution and I installed all the drivers and updated the windows the windows is uh, windows 11 and for some reason it won't accept my license for the windows 8 that I bought oh. 
so this laptop is mostly for, like I said, casual gamers. I'm sure you can play this Battlefield 5 even uh, online in multiplayer and you will have some decent score if you are a decent gamer. But it's not for sport, like you cannot go on competitions with it. You can be a decent online gamer for the fun and your score. Of course, some guys with uh, high, higher comps will kick your ass, but if you just want to have fun and you don't play in some professional team, this is decent. People say that uh, you need to have like 100 FPS to it be playable. I don't know, on 28 I found this smooth. I think for me, I, I wouldn't even notice the difference between 100 and uh, 60 FPS. It's just for human eye, it's impossible to find the difference. And this display is uh, 120 hertz. Okay, I'm blind. Dynamics. I'm just charged here like a goddamn fool. But uh, the good thing in this game is, even if you die, the game don't stop. <laughs> I don't know. It's bad for five. All this new series is, I think, like this. You just keep going and going. It's not even the matter, the question, will you die? You will die, but uh, if you can die in wrong time, obviously. Okay, this is nice chance to check how the sniping goes. Like you see, it's pretty smooth. One kill, two kill. Like I said, I'm using old mouse. It's old, like over 12 years old, Razer Abyss's first series. So it's not maybe accurate like newer mouses for the gaming and my surface is cotton but I'm not bad like you see I can I can hit some things here and this guy I don't like this guy he dodged twice goodbye I cannot move from here I don't think I can yeah, it's another I played this before, so now we should be killed by some badass airplane. Ah here it goes. We died bravely. We are with the honors. Like anybody cares. I would rather be at home eating my pie and drinking coffee. Okay, I think it is enough for the gameplay. Like you see, it's pretty smooth. Oh, look, we move it on 38 FPS. Okay, that is the laptop. It's pretty easy. Like you see, I can lift it with one hand. It's just one kilo 900 grams and the charger weights uh, 300 grams so you are going under two and a half kilos. In the backpack you really don't notice that the weight. Uh, the keyboard is pretty good. There is not a lot of bend. This pressure in my finger is enough to penetrate tomato. So when you're typing there is any like you can see the screen is not moving up oh, never mind the screen is not moving it does not wobble the touchpad is great I don't know why people are complaining on the touchpad it really don't bother you if you're typing I don't know who types like this it's only scenario where you can complain it is too far left if you keep your hand like this I don't know, I type like this all my times. I'm not some typer, I type like 50 words in a minute. 
it really don't bother, it really don't register the... Where is my mouse? Just a second. Okay, here. Like you see, it really don't register your hand. So, people are full of BS. They're complaining on things just so they would look like pretentious bricks who have better laptops, who have like fine tech and etc. And that is not bad. If you want to be like total, I don't know, someone who seeks perfection, who carries only Apple, but that is pretty misguiding for the customers and for the users because it's not the question what you need or how you think the laptop or the device, any device is intended to use. Uh, man, I lost the track of what I'm saying. I wanted to say you need to offer the laptop customer needs. So if someone needs office laptop with like gaming, this one is it. There is not point comparing it to other gaming laptops. <laughs> that is completely different category. For casual users, for someone who wants to have nice device that looks serious like in business class but have some power inside, yeah buy this laptop but just remember i would recommend this version with amd 5600 h processor and the vega 7 graphics other builds are stronger but they will consume more power and that means it will create more heat for this cooling system this model is perfect this is very very well balanced and like you could see the temperature of GP and the CPU was decent and the laptop yeah you maybe feel some it's not heat I would call that like warm milk maybe even on the cold side and mostly in this part here. This part, this this is actually cold. Now this is natural. And there is some warm milk here. <laughs> but I think baby could drink it even if it's double of this, double heated. Okay, that is all, guys. Unedited. No BS, just like it is. Keep in mind that moment of the gameplay would be better if I recorded the screen. The camera loses some frames when it records, but like you saw, it is a decent laptop for the purpose it was made. And it's really slim, like one nail thick. Okay, have a nice day, until next time.